Welcome back to Let's Play Chameleon Twist 2. I'm American Killjoy. Hi guys. Okay, in the last episode we took out the Ninja Frog of Great Tokyo Land, and in this episode we are going to the fun but very dangerous Toyland. I tried to record this part yesterday, but I my commentary was lackluster and bleh, so we're going to do it today. Okay. So Toyland. And here we are, we we were a present. We were we were the present to Toyland. Toyland was lacking something and we were the present. So here's a coin over here you can easily miss. And we are gonna talk to the rabbit. Hello, white rabbit. Yes, a land of toys. I can't play around because I will probably die. Yeah, we'll play a training game. This training game, I think is this the one where the blue mats are coming at you? Yes. Yes, this one. Ah, uh, okay. So these platforms are coming in and out of the wall and you have to speedily get your way across, but artfully and skillfully do it. There are ways to do this and ways not to do this. You cannot run along the floor because things happen and you die. And you cannot run all the way up here and get to the end here. So I'm gonna restart this and try this one more time, because I, I don't want to have to restart the whole recording over a training game. I mean, that's just ridiculous. So let's see if we can be a little bit, little bit more, a little bit more uh, in control of our, our actions and take this thing by force. Oh gosh, I almost, almost fell to my death there. Getting a little quick. Wow, I got the outside of that platform? That was very scary. Now these platforms at the end here go inside the wall entirely, so this is scary. But we've done it very successfully, and we did this in under 30 seconds. So, oh, almost under 30 seconds. Almost under 30 seconds, darn it. So if you want to post a video response of you doing that any faster, I will gladly accept it. I will accept it with open arms, and I will give it a hug. So we are going to exit and move on with this this crazy level, which we barely even started. Can I get back inside the... Can I get back inside the... Oh, I can, kind of. I, can, I, can I get back in? Yeah, I can jump out of it. That's cool. Yay. I was a gift... I, 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 got, I became a present twice. That's even be better than becoming a present just one time. So, coins in this level. Let's just say they are very, very well hidden. Like the one up here. How the heck would you know that this is up here? Like, being like a kid of like six or seven or eight or whenever, however old you were when you played this game. I, I played this game when I was in like elementary school. So, that was a long time ago and you didn't have the most advanced brainwaves. So, didn't know where that was. Okay, so we're gonna get a slot here and hopefully. Hopefully we get a good one. Oh, we're invincible! This is the best ever! Okay, this part can be annoying because you will lose hearts like crazy in here if you don't know what you're doing. Like me! Except all you gotta do is just eat these bubbles and you're in good shape. So, there's no point in getting that heart just yet unless I need it. That guy's just off along the floor. I could throw people into the... I could throw this guy into his buddy. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. So... There's really no point to get that slot. I mean, we're not gonna need it. There's no point to get that heart either, but I picked that up. Not, just not making sense today, am I? So, today is... April 24th? 2012? That's the time of recording. I don't know when this is gonna go up. I'm trying to post videos every other day for this one, so... This one is... This, this LP isn't gonna last very long at all, but... It's not a very long game, really. I mean, this is the fifth of six, of six levels, so... Do I chance it? Okay, I chance it. I chance it. Because these guys... This was a bad chance to take, because now these hammers are going to just wail on me. So I can somehow wean off this down speed. That would be just great. Oh, if I could get over... I was trying... I was trying my best. These guys are just going to destroy me. This was the worst kind of thing that could happen. If anything worse could happen, somebody tell me. Because this... That was just... That was just really unlucky. There's no... There's there's nothing more unlucky than just getting your speed entirely sapped away from you. So we are going to jump up on these wooden blocks, I think. Colored wooden blocks. I never had colored wooden blocks when I was a kid. I had a lot of Legos. I had... So many Legos. When I was a kid. I can't even... I can't even describe how many boxes upon boxes of Legos I had. I mean, make, used to make all kinds of things, and it's always when you get the Lego... the Legos, you, you would make the, the models that were inside the Lego things, 
the, inside the bins or like on the directions, but I, I would make things that were not on the directions. Like things you, you just make them because you had a wide imagination. It's like, I'm sure I'm not the only person that did that, but it's just, that's, that's my childhood for you. We're going to eat everything and make, and make so much noise. Oh, up speed. Yeah. All right. So this piano down here. This piano has made me curious. I wonder, because you can make music with this, but can you get anything from it? I might come back here in a bonus episode, maybe, and see what I can do. Hello, bunny. Hmm, what do you have to get a good score on this thing, I wonder? Are you talking about the piano or the game? I never know. Oh, sorry. Did you oh, five carrots. I don't have five carrots. Look, I only have, I only have four. The fifth one's in this level. Damn it. Okay, so we're going to have to backtrack. That's okay. That's that's entirely okay. I don't I don't mind that at all. And there's our our parasol that I haven't used all level yet, at least until yet. I'm not going to get that slot because this part right here, this part can be extremely annoying if you don't know what you're doing. And this one you barely jump. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Don't stab me. Okay. Don't stab me, bro. <laughs> that would be the worst. And this guy crunching me would be even worse. So actually. So, oh no! I just I just figured out that I can't get all the coins now on this level. And I have to come back. Well, at least I'll show them. I'll show where they all are. And I guess I'll just cut back to me getting that eluding twentieth coin in that special game that we have to play when we get all five carrots or, or the five carrots that are necessary to get that. Oh, what are you doing? You could have just taken the stationary leg, but you decided to take the one that was moving. That was not a smart move. So it's coin out here. It's ten. So we're halfway home. There's another one back here. If I can get that, yes. Alright, now we have present boxes. We came in one of these present boxes, except ours was a different shape. Was it an octagon? Yes, I think so. Was it was it octagonal? Octagonal? I don't remember. <laughs> and it was only maybe not even 12 minutes ago. I don't even know. What I don't even know what time we are right now. That's one of the probably the negatives of the Play Claw application. It's something I wish that they would put in. Uh, or you know what? I could probably actually turn turn my recording time on, but I don't want to turn it on because then you guys would see it, and that would be entirely unprofessional. So we're not going to do that. So hello, Panda Bear. I'm going to steal your heart. And there's a heart lottery behind here that's not necessary, but I just remember it being there. Oh, an Easter egg there. That is the original sprite of the chameleon from the first game, and it will also be the chameleon in the second game if you're playing the Japanese version. But we are not. We are playing the the version that was released in America. So, yeah. So come on, shovel, I, I, shovel, shovel, clearing shovel. I would not have you squish me because you can stand under that and have that squish you, and that would not be good. So we're gonna fall, and we are our own prize. All right. So we hop out. There's a three heart in that little chimney thing there, but I'm not gonna get it because honestly, it's not worth it. And you see how dickish they are. They threw that up there, that slot, and if you were to get a down speed, you would definitely fall there. So they are starting to get really mean with this game. But they will not get as mean up to the next part right up here. This part coming up here, after after these domino parts up here, I remember the dominoes. After this part here, oh boy, there is the most annoying part ever in this game, I think. Besides cave jumping. Because cave jumping is really, really tedious and stupid. But this part right here... Not this part right here. Dominoes, I can walk all over your face. So, yeah. Oh, that one looks so sad. This one looks really, really promiscuous. And this one just looks pissed. This part right here. We're going to want to keep that heart there. We have ten units of health. You have to get across this card bridge before it falls apart. I die here all the time. So, I am expecting to die here... So we are going to try to get across this as quickly as possible, and hopefully not die. Yeah, we did the the the. Alright, so we're gonna try again. I know I don't have to get the coin this time, and I screwed up majorly that time. But we oh we almost got it. I almost have it. If I could just not fall in that first part right there, and we could just jump, please. Yes, okay. That part's really not hard, but the thing is, it's they're just it's just very tedious and difficult. Okay, now, this part right here, you have to choose the right the right cards to go up. If you don't choose the right card, you fall down, and it's like Joker and laughing at you. What a mean bunny. Come on, get up, thank you. 
this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, get off of this. All right, screw you guys, I'm getting a carrot. Because the carrot is right over here on this little upper platform here. It's right up here, right over here. How the heck would you know this was here, ever? But in any case, we have it now, and we are going to fall into the right one and jump our way up here to this part, which is the bane of my existence in this level, besides the card bridge, because the card bridge is very annoying. Uh, these pieces here you have bishops and rooks that are trying to kill you, so they're not fun. And I did horrible yesterday on this, so let's see if I do any better today. And it looks as if I am, so this is pretty darn good. And there's a coin over here I don't want to forget, because I forgot it last time and paid the price. Please go away, Miss Queen. Okay. Oh, that guy just totally just put put me in my put me in the put baby in the corner, and I am very upset with that. But we are moving on and standing on sun, standing on the sun. So we move on and with our lives, and everything is as it was. So there's these rotating blocks here that can be a little annoying, but really they're not that bad. We are almost done with this level. We are eventually going to be done with this level. Oh, I remember this part up here. This is this is a very annoying part where you can lose a whole bunch of health. And please don't give me down speed. Please don't give me down... Yes, invincibility. This is the best. Oh, thank you. Thank you, game. You are on my side today. I am very pleased with you. This is the best thing that could have happened. All right, we're going to jump across here. Because that is a part where I can lose a lot of health. All right, we only have seven units of health? Wow, we are not doing well at all. So we're going to use these to get across the way here, and get a slot that's really not necessary at this point in the game. Even though we didn't get anything from it, that's fine. So, oh, Cuckoo Clock, you were not being... <sighs> you just We just didn't get here at the right time. We were late, unfortunately. We had to wait until 12 o'clock for, for the time to chime, and this is like the fastest clock ever. So, chime, and you go Cuckoo. Hello, Cuckoo. I've... I've never seen a cuckoo clock work. I've only seen them in, like, cartoons and maybe, like, really old movies. I don't remember what old movie I've seen it in, so I really can't direct you to which old movie I saw it in, so... But I remember seeing it. I've never seen one live, though. That might be one of my bucket list things, to see a cuckoo clock. Hello, bunny. You must be getting tired. Yes, I am really tired now, you know. I, I really don't want to have to fight a boss, if you know. But I'll, I will take your toy biplane, and this could be worth its weight in gold if I get a lot of hearts. Alright, I have eight. I can deal with that. Eight I can deal with. So we're gonna fly on our little pie plane, and we are gonna move on to the boss land. And I believe we had 19 coins at the end of that, and the 20th coin is in the extra game, which we will go back in after we beat the boss. Which is... a guy with a two on him. This is Big Red Robot. Except he's not all red, he has some red, some yellow, some green, and he's all evil, so... Yeah. All right, now you should spit a cannibal at me. You didn't do this yesterday, but you will today. You are being very cooperative, and I'm appreciative of your cooperativity. Please don't hurt me. You hurt me. Last time you didn't bring your arm. Last time he brought his arms up, so I'm just being kind of cautious and not cautious at the same time. And you can stay far on the inside and not get hit by these rosy robots. They remind me. These robots remind me. Uh, of Rosie the Maid from the Jetsons. So that's why I call them that. Hello, Cat and Ball. I will throw you at the robot you were spat out of. And we will now jump over his off. See? He, oh my goodness, he almost got me there. I have limited health. I only have seven hearts out, out of a possible ten I could probably, probably should have. Oh, he got me. What a mean. What a mean robot. What a mean henchman robot. Or more. These guys, he's just spitting out all of his henchmen. This is getting tedious. Okay. Throw your cannonball. Now you're gonna kill all your henchmen because you just don't care. Okay. I think we did enough to get take care of you. And please bring your arms up. You didn't bring your arms up that time. Man alive. I hope I don't die. That would be very unfortunate. And I'm not actually ready to die. I have a lot to do in this life, honestly. I do not want to waste this life. More robots. Oh, I could have gotten another one. Um, 
Can I have more robots? There's all those robots. Look at all those ro red robot robots. <laughs> Look at all those big red robot robots. Okay, so throw more at you. I will jump over your arms because that's what we do in this world. And you will lift your arm up, please. Thank you. All right. And we should be we should be in the clear here. This should be. This is a lot better than yesterday, because yesterday when I played this boss, I got down to one unit of health, and I still beat him, but it was not a pretty sight. So this should be enough right here, and he is going to explode into the sky, and we will never hear from him again. He will probably go to Neptune and go and make a robot colony of his own, and he will... Th maybe that's where Transformers came from. He was the first robot into space, and we jump for joy and get all the coins. Almost all of the coins. We got 19. So maybe that's how that happened. Michael Bay, take note. Okay, so we are going to go back into Toyland, and I will see you back where the bunny was on the piano. So I will see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so here we are with our big head and 10 units of health, and we are back with the bunny with 5 carrots because he is just a hungry son of a gun. So let's see what we need to do to get a good score on this thing. I don't remember the exact score you have to get on this. I think it's 100. Okay. So we're not going to step on the start button yet. We're going to go over and talk to the bunny because I don't remember how to play this game. This is a game where you have chess pieces, more pieces. Some pieces. Are okay. Okay. Some pieces reduce your score. So there's okay. There's multipliers and then regular guys. Okay. So this this is really just all about tongue control and about knowing which ones to grab. So okay. So we are going to grab. Let's see, can we grab this many? Almost? Okay, that was okay. That was, that, I can deal with that. That's four. Um, okay, we didn't get that two in time, but that is fine. Right, that'll, that'll work. That was very good. Right, that was awful. And that was okay. Okay, we're at 44 right now. This is, this is going pretty well. Um, so, okay, we can get over. Let me, maybe get all those. Okay, 51. That was a zero. We get two. Okay, we got another two. Um, shoot, we are not doing as well as I thought we were going to do. There's a five back there. That'll help a lot. And there's a multiplier that's not worth anything. I think I'll beat him anyway, or no. Okay. This part. Okay, here we go. We get that five. Yes. Times two. Is that enough? Please say that's enough. 103. That's gotta be enough. Okay. I think I've beaten it on the first try. That would be... I would be very happy about that. 109. Okay, I'm being a little chancy now, aren't I? 114. And I think that's the last That's the last round. Yes, I got it! Okay, it was 100. Okay, so we got the coin. So I will see you guys at the end of the level when I get all of the coins, because you already know where they all are now. So I will see you there. Alright, so here we are. We have... We jumped for joy, and this time we got all of the coins. So we are perfect, and get a new costume for the final level, which is Pyramid Land, the ultimate test. All right, wait, we're gonna, not gonna end this right here. We gotta, gotta look at our, gotta look at our costume that we just acquired that took forever to get because we had to backtrack. All right. So, oh, this is even, this is even more fabulous than the other suit that we have. Man, we are, we are just getting some serious, some serious, nice, nice clothes. We are getting some nice clothes and some nice kicks there, too. All right. So, uh, so that is going to be it for this episode of Chameleon Twist 2. Uh, in the next episode, we will take on the ultimate test that is Pyramid Land. And believe me, this, pyram this Pyramid Land, this last episode, this, this last, <laughs> this last world really does not take no prisoner. It, do it takes no prisoners. I can't talk anymore. I'm going to end this off here now. All right. I will see you next time. Bye.